Great. Um, thank you very much, everyone, for the opportunity to present um, some of the strategies that we can use to influence federal policy making in regards to renewable energy. Um, so, first of all, I'm just give you just going to give you a brief overview of the presentation today. So, first, I'm going to talk a little bit about some uh, background information about um, climate change regulation here in the, in the United States. Then I'm going to give you a general overview about the policy making process and with that I'm going to give you specific strategies that we can use um, to employ and increase influence over federal policy making. Uh, so just briefly, the three strategies are, uh, first one, uh, take advantage of the political momentum. Uh, the second one is to frame climate change as both an energy issue and as a health issue. Uh, and the third one would be to focus on tax credit for investments um, in renewable energy production. So as a way of a background, as you know, um, renewable uh, resources and climate change regulation are um, closely linked. So um, unfortunately, climate change regulation is uh, congressional action on climate change is a stall. Um, however, um, the federal government and uh, President Obama, more specifically, recently proposed a uh, regulation to cut, um, and the, the wording is carbon pollution from power uh, plants in 30% by 2030. Uh, 30. Um, so um, this is a very big opportunity, and as you can see in the diagram, um, I'm just going to talk about three um, phases, as you, uh, if you will. There are more phases after that, but uh, it's agenda setting, policy formulation, policy option. So the first thing that you uh, that it's important is that this is not a sequential um, sort of like line of um, um, of policy making. Uh, even though we do have some leg legislation on renewable energy and tax credit, uh, we are still we still have to take advantage of the agenda setting phase and the policy formulation and the policy adoption. So uh, the first strategy that I talked about before, which is taking advantage of the political momentum, um, is that we have to make sure that we um, take um, advantage of the, the fact that climate change is now permanent in the media, uh, not only because of um, um, Obama's um, announcement of this new um, push where um, regulation of power plant emission, uh, but also uh, we have to make sure that the, the United Nations Climate Summit creates also this opportunity for us to put this, uh, the, the action on renewable energy in the political agenda. The second strategy would be to frame renewable energy um, as both a climate change issue and a health issue. So, as I said before, um, President Obama's um, announcement uh, was targeting health issues or, or climate change as a public health issue. So I think that's an interesting way to frame um, our policy propo uh, proposals and, um, and use this framing uh, that was already given by the federal government that, that we can use it in our advantage by reducing um, fossil fuel use, we can actually increase public health. Um, so also just remembering that the issue is already part of the institution agenda, meaning that renewable energy and tax credit for renewable energy production is already part of the institutional um, agenda because there's already regulation in place. Um, unfortunately, uh, the tax credit, tax credit will um, expire by 2016, so we need to make sure that it continues in the agenda and uh, propose the, the tax credit in the policy formulation and then make sure that is adopted after it expires. Um, so uh, just briefly, I'm just going to give you five reasons why tax credit is um, an important policy instru instrument in this case. First of all, it's the only issue that you all agree on. <laughs> so I think the fact that this coalition actually has a consensus on one uh, policy instrument is a very important political tool that we can use to actually tell Congress, well, this is what we agree on, you know, all sides of, the, um, the, of this issue. And second, there's no direct uh, expenditure. Um, so 
basically the tax, tax credit is an investment. There is no like additional um, expenditure. Uh, third, um, it's easier to administer because we already have the institutional framework in place uh, and we already have tax credits anyway. It's not a new, a brand new proposal. And fourth, um, it's technically and political, pol politically feasible. So we just have to make sure that we uh, tell Congress that this regulation is already in place. It's, uh, you know, renewable energy is technically feasible and so we just need more incentives to actually invest in uh, renewable energy um, and make sure that federal regulation that was proposed by President Obama um, um, actually has a positive effect on renewable energy production.